Hello everybody, welcome to Breaking Your Make. I'm your host, Joan. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. I'm gonna show you how to sew a V neck with bias tape so it looks invisible. Ooh, made with magic. <laughs> if you don't like facing or if you want your garment to be super lightweight, this is a great project for you. Let me show you how to do it. First thing we're gonna do is we are going to pin the bias onto the outside of the garment. I can't see. Oh shoot, hold on. Open up your bias and you are going to want to lay it against the edge and pin it into place here. So we'll be stitching along here. Keep in mind when you do your bias tape, you're gonna have to figure out what the seam allowance is for the neckline and then adjust accordingly. This seam allowance is going to be like three eighths of an inch. So that's all we're gonna need right here and we're only going to pin to the V. Once we get to here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin this side and we're gonna stop at this V. We need to pin this side after we stitch this side so we know how much to fold back. I'm going to mark the exact spot where I need to turn and pivot is right there. So that is the width of the bias tape seam allowance down here, right? So this is three eighths of an inch down. This is all pinned and ready to stitch. Let's go ahead and put it together. And then we'll have to miter. Mitering's easy. It just takes practice. I'm getting close to the edge. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop and back stitch and then set up for my next stitch. This part takes a little bit of fancy footwork. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold back your bias tape and then refold it forward going in the direction of the next part that you're gonna stitch. Let me show you the clear way to set this up. I'll do this a few times so you can actually see it as I fold it. You see here, I've got my bias tape all stitched. I'm going to fold the bias tape back Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? We're gonna get that a hot finger press. I'm going to put my finger here and we're gonna go this way. Ooh, always takes a little bit of doing, right? So now I've got this triangle of fabric here. I've got this triangle of bias right here. I've folded it in the direction so this bias tape lines up with that edge, right? So I've got this extra little flappy bit in here. I'm gonna start my stitches right here on this side of the bias. Whoa, right up along that edge. Boom, right? So let's fold that one more time so you can see it. Folding it back this way, right? Anchoring that down with my hot finger press. Folding this back over, I'm holding this on this corner so I can move it back this way, right? I've got a nice mitered corner here. I'm putting a mark here so I know where to exactly start my stitches and I can stitch this side down. Pin it and then stitch it. When we sew this part, it's super important to start the dot and then go. If you go over a couple stitches, just pop them when you're done. This is going to be one of those like practice and it'll be good -er as you go. Let's take a look at this. What do we have going for us right now? Well, it looks kind of like a mess. Things are not laying correctly. We've got some wobble where the V should be crisp. We need to clip in that inner corner to, not through, the V, right? You wanna leave a couple threads so you don't rip out your work but you wanna clip pretty close. Press the bias flat first on the outside of the garment and then you can turn the bias inside. Do one side at a time, that way you don't get overwhelmed and it feels like you're trying to wrestle an octopus. Do one side at a time and then focus on getting the center nice and perfect. After you've pressed it from the outside, you can then press it to the inside and then it will look nice and crisp on the outside. The center point will take a little bit of zhuzhing, but that's fine. You just use your fingers and roll it to the inside and you'll be fine. 
so this mitered corner looks super clean and neat are you done at this point it looks pretty nice from the outside but what we want to do is we want to anchor it on the inside you have two options you can hand sew it so it looks like it was magicked together or you can top stitch it i'll do one side top stitch and i'll do one side hand stitch and i'll show you the difference for the hand stitching side we will be using a slip stitch whenever you take a stitch you can see it on the front so you want to make your stitches pretty small when you're grabbing the front facing fabric as you can see here i did smaller slip stitches and then here's a longer slip stitch so you can kind of see the difference if you need a tutorial on slip stitching please let me know in the comments and there you have it. One side has been top stitched and one side has been hand stitched. You can't really tell a difference on the camera, but in person, I can kind of tell. It's up to you how you want to finish it. You could do it super invisible or, you know, mostly invisible. If you would like to make your own bias tape so everything matches in your project, check out this tutorial on making your own bias tape.